low effort, max value. That's how I describe this great upgrade for a document library that stores images. You don't have to write a single line of code and you can use it with or without content types. Let's get into it and show you how it works. So if you've got a library that's storing images, whether that's the site assets library or just any custom library with images, this cool trick will show an image preview right there in the view. And better yet, you can click on it and see a larger preview of that image. Now you know what you're looking at inside this library. We're gonna walk through how to do this, but first let me show you where I found this code. I found this JSON snippet in the PNP GitHub library. And if you haven't heard of this GitHub library, well, it's maintained by the people in the PNP community community just like you who come up with something cool and want to share it with everyone. What this means is you get to use these snippets and code excerpts and solutions for free, but you could also become a part of that passionate community and eventually start giving back and adding your own solutions and your own snippets to this library. Sharing is caring. So let's create this from scratch. I'm just going to delete the column. and we'll add this from scratch. So I'm gonna add column, give it a column name. It's just gonna be a single line of text. So we'll click save here. And now we're gonna add in our JSON. Before I do that, let me show you where it's at if you're using a content type. So if you wanted to apply this to a content type, you're gonna go into the document library settings and then go into the content type that you want to manage. If you don't see this content type option, then you need to go to advanced settings and then make sure that allow management of content types is selected. But once you see it, you can click on the content type, navigate up to the parent content type if that's where you want to apply it at. Otherwise, you could always apply it to the list content type, but you're gonna add a new site column to this content type. You can give it a name It'll be a single line of text. And under column formatting, you're just gonna paste in that JSON right here. While we're waiting for this to save, if you're learning all that you can about SharePoint, then click that subscribe button to keep up with my newest videos. So now the new field's added to the content type, but what if you didn't want to add this to a content type and you just wanted to add it to a list? Maybe you're on a library where it just doesn't have any content types that you're really using. Well, for that, we're just going to go right back to the list. We don't even need to be in list settings for this, so I'm just going to go straight back into the list. We've got our image column here already, so I'm just going to go to format this column. Click on the advanced mode at the bottom, get rid of all of this, and paste in our JSON. And there it is. We can click on save and then close this panel. We can also show the preview that we added from our content type by just checking the box here and hitting apply. And now you'll see both have been added to the list. One was just added to the list itself and the other was through the content type. So we've got our previews working on here now, but what else can this do? Well, you could click on one and see a larger preview of that image. So you may be able to find something just by using the small view, but you could certainly click on it and see what this image really is so that you can find what you need when you're doing your work. It's that easy to implement this little JSON snippet, but there's so much more inside this library that you're gonna wanna check out. I'm gonna keep going through this library and finding more cool demos to show you, but you should be checking this out too to see what you can start implementing in your future solutions. And if you're just getting started with JSON formatting, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video on the left to get you started with the entire playlist. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.